When someone speaks about baboons, most people think of those monkeys with the big bright backsides and colourful faces. Well, not all baboons are actually like that, and those that are, aren't always so big. There are six different species of baboon, and here at Paynton Zoo we have a troop of Hamadryas baboons. I'm Alice, one of the research students here, and I'm going to be telling you a bit more about the troop here at Baboon Rock. Outside of captivity, baboons are found on the continent of Africa, and Hamadryas baboons, in particular, are native to the north of Africa and the southwest of the Arabian Peninsula. Here they spend their days exploring the savannas before heading to the cliffs at night to sleep. During the day, groups of baboons head out looking for food, such as seeds, roots, fruit and grass. They travel in very specific groups, Hamadryas baboons, because they have a very complex social structure due to their remarkable intelligence. Starting at the lowest level, baboons associate in groups called one male units, or OMUs for short. This has got one adult male, his females, juveniles of different ages, and any babies that the females are carrying. Baboons have a striking sexual dimorphism, which means that the males and females look very different. Male baboons are nearly twice the size of females. In Hamadryas baboons, this goes even further, with males having a big silver wiry cape, which they grow when they reach maturity at around seven to 10 years old. Going up from OMUs, the baboons associate in clans, which tend to link through the dominant males. The males within a clan are usually blood relatives and therefore have less competition between themselves. Up from that are bands, which contain a few different clans and can be around maybe 75 members in total. These only really meet during travel and exploration and really have an affiliation to each other above the clan level. Finally, there is a troop which contains roughly a few bands or up to 200 individuals. In the wild, troops only associate when sharing sleeping spaces at night and it's actually believed that individuals don't have any affiliation to each other and actually just put up with sharing a bed space. Here at the zoo, there's obviously no need for protection whilst exploring or trying to find food or cliffs to sleep on. So the only real social levels here are OMUs and a troop. There are some family groups which can be seen as very small clans because we've got two dads and their sons and their harems, which can be seen together occasionally and are known to back each other up during conflict. As I said before, Hamadryas baboons have a striking sexual dimorphism that goes even further than other species of baboons. That image of the colourful behinds isn't actually too far wrong with this species, as the females come in and out of estrus, also better known as coming in and out of swell. This is where the females' backsides, for a short period of time, swell up to become bigger and a brighter shade of pink. Even at the start of pregnancy, they carry on with that cycling. Speaking of pregnancy, Hamadryas baboons have a gestation period of around six months, and after having a baby, will wait a further six to eight months before having another, which means that they shouldn't get pregnant until their last juvenile, or baby, is independent enough to cope. Baby baboons are different again in their coloration, being born with strong black hair and cling to their mum's stomach or their back for around three to four months before swapping to the other one for a further three to four months. Currently at the zoo, there are seven black babies within the troop. However, the eldest baby, Cornelius, is starting to go brown already. Cornelius is an incredible baby to watch if you get the chance. He is obsessed with climbing and showing off his strength to his dad, Buzz, who is a great dad compared to some of the other male baboons and gives him a helping hand when he needs it. But the main man of the troop here, unfortunately, isn't little Cornelius, but is instead his granddad, Woody. Woody is the alpha male of the troop and is, again, pretty easy to spot. He has a wart on the top of his nose, boarding on the right side of his head, and overall acts and moves a bit like an older man, which is fair enough because he is. Woody is the oldest member of the troop here, at around 22 years of age, and has been in charge of the troop for between four to five years. Next time you visit, you'll have to look out for the Hamadryas baboon troop. Try and find Cornelius exploring, see if there's any new babies, and say hi to Woody here at Paint and Zoo.